Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica McDonald and today I'm going to show you how to make a nice tidy fold over neckline like this one here on this sweater where you start from a long tail cast on. This specifically uses the German twisted cast on. There's no provisional cast on needed here. There's no sewing either. You fold it over and you fasten it down in this very nice and neat fashion. Here's the inside here and it retains its excellent stretch and I'm going to show you how to do that right here. This is my new neckline. It starts with a German twisted cast on. I've knit to the length the pattern calls for. The first thing you're going to do is, oh no, where did my stitch marker go? It was just here. Aha. You're going to take a stitch marker. This is a locking stitch marker. And you're going to come to your very, very first stitch on your left hand side, the very first stitch that you're going to work and you're going to follow that column of knit stitches down, 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 down to the very base. I'm going to start over because I think I got off. Down to the very base of it and you're going to put that locking stitch marker right in the middle of that column of stitches. That way it's very easy for you to make sure that you are lining up your ribbing properly and you're not going to end up with a twist or a little bias in your neckline as you work around. So we're going to fold, this is the cast on edge, we're going to fold it to the inside. The cast on edge comes to the inside. This is my yarn tail. If you want to, you can weave in your yarn tail on the inside before you start to work, but I didn't do that before this, so it's going to have to wait till after. So I folded my entire neckline over to the inside. The cast on edge is in the inside. The working edge is on the outside. And I'm going to find my stitch marker and I'm going to line it up with my very first stitch. I'm going to push my needle through so that I'm ready to work. Here's my end. Here's my working yarn. And I'm going to turn it so that it's facing, so that I'm not looking at the top, so that I'm looking at the side of it, so that I can work with it like normal. Now I want you to look very carefully at this. I'm telling you to insert your working needle through the stitches. But if you come in here and you try, like here's the top of the stitch, here's the top of the stitch, here's the top of the stitch. If you try to insert your working needle in through the very center of that stitch, it's going to be very, very difficult to work this together. So I want you to look to the side of the stitch. So here's the top of my first knit column of stitches right here. And if I just go a little bit to the side, we're like just to the side of the stitch. There's a nice little hole right there to the side. I'm going to insert my needle there and pick it up. And again, here's a knit column. We're going to jump over that to the side, right to the side of it. There's a nice spot I can insert my needle and pick up. Right here to the side of the pearl, there's a nice spot I can insert my needle to pick up. So we're about half a stitch off, which ultimately isn't going to skew your neckline, but it's going to make it a lot easier to work because you have a nice little gap here between the two stitches where you can easily insert your needle. Notice how I have two strands of yarn over the top of my needle that you want to make sure you get two strands of yarn. If you get only one, you're going to end up pulling that, pulling that loose and it's going to give you a funky spot. Make sure you get both loops on your needle. So now I've got my larger size needle here. As part of this process, we're switching to the larger size needle. I've got my first stitch lined up with my first stitch. I'm going to prepare to work them together. So I insert my needle knitwise through the very first stitch of my ribbing, and then I'm going to come over here. It's, it's normal for this to kind of fall apart a little bit because you don't have it fastened yet. Don't worry about that too much. We're just going to pull it tight when we work that first stitch. So here's my stitch marker marking the top of that column. I'm coming in right here on the side of it. I'm making sure I have two loops on my needle and I'm going to pull through a loop. It can be a little bit funky here first. Here we go. I grabbed an extra strand of something. Okay, it's a little bit loose. You see that? It's a little bit loose and wobbly. But I'm going to take my loop and I'm going to pull it through the first stitch on my left hand needle, I'm knitting that stitch. Now I'm going to slip that stitch off of my needle and now I'm going to pull my working yarn tight 
to pull that all together and pull it nice and snug. So that now my two, my front and my back are now meeting together nicely. Now I'm going to work my second stitch. I'm going to insert my needle as if to knit through the, I've got my working stitches on my left hand needle. I'm inserting to knit. Then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna find the appropriate spot on my, on the back, the cast on edge. It's right here. I'm gonna insert my needle, pull it through, then pull it through the stitch that's on the needle, slide the stitch off, then pull it tight. I'm inserting my needle as if to knit through the live stitch, my working stitch, and I'm coming to the back and I'm finding my hole. It's right here. Got the two strands over. I'm pulling through a loop. And now that, now that I've kind of joined the first few stitches, it's gonna get a lot easier now to pull it through the cast on edge and your live stitch simultaneously. So I've inserted it through there. I'm gonna go back here and find the right spot to put it through. You can see here, I've put the yarn through right here last time. I'm gonna jump over this column of knit stitches and insert it right on the side, the left-hand side of that column of knit stitches. There's a nice hole there for me to pick up and I can just pull it right through my stitch that's on the left-hand needle, slip it, slip it off, pull it tight. I'm inserting to knit again. Now here's my next hole is right here. If I get closer, does it wanna focus or not? Right there, pick it up. And now I've drawn my working yarn through that pick, I have picked it up through that cast on edge and now I can just rotate my hand back and it just comes nicely through my live stitch on my left hand needle, slide it off, tighten it up. And now I continue working in that fashion all the way around to the very beginning. Oops, I accidentally picked up a little extra until the very beginning of the ribbing, the beginning of the round, and then it's done. I've got my, my ribbing will be knit together. And it will be nice and stretchy. So here we go. Here's the, the bit where it transfers. You can see how nice, and, or the bit that's already knit together, you can see how nice and stretchy it still is. You can see there's a little bit of a ridge on the back but it's not too much of a ridge. It's nice and tidy on the inside. Just continue in this fashion all the way around to the beginning of the round. You will have knit your neckline as a folded neckline together and be ready to continue with your pattern. Please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this.